are going to um, transform this dark wood vintage bed um, into a more modern look. We are going to use Annie Sloan chalk paint, which I have here. And we are going to use um, the shade, the color of the paint is called Antoinette. beautiful blush pink color and then we are going to finish it off with this clear wax okay and here are the different brushes that you can use in fact really there's no perfect choice whatever brush you have on hand you are able to use um, it will work just fine this is actually the brush that Annie Sloan recommends that you use because it can go into the inside and you Kind of easily really get into those crevices but I also found that if you use just this tapered one it can also do the same job for much less price okay this is so easy to use chalk paint is kind of the end thing right now there's also milk paint but um, my experience is that this paint is one of the best out there you cannot find this unfortunately at Home Depot or Lowe's so you will have to find this um, find a distributor in your local um, area in melbourne florida there's only one store that actually carries the paint and it's in our downtown melbourne so that's the only disadvantage and it's a little, it's a little bit pricey i've actually priced it at lowe's they will make chalk paint now for you there but the price is comparable there but I haven't tried their, um, that brand that they use, but they can now mix uh, chalk paint for you, okay? So it's so easy to use, brush it on, it has no odor uh, whatsoever, and it will dry in minutes, and you can either put the second coat, I don't normally put second coats on my furniture that I've painted, but uh, you can obviously do that, but with this paint, with Annie Sloan, you actually have to finish it with clear wax. That's how it sets it apart from the others. Uh, I've also used another uh, brand of paint that does not need coat uh, waxing. So I'll show you that in another, uh, in another video. So for today, we are going to use Antoinette and transform this beautiful bed. As you can see, look how thick it is already. It covers the dark wood almost instantly. So there's really no need to, to do a second coat. So like I said, um, if, but if you wish to do so, you are welcome to it. And you don't have to also be especially careful on how you actually paint it because it will dry almost just, it's so miraculous. It will dry smoothly. has already dried up okay and uh, so all we need to do is just distress a little bit and then you can either do the waxing before you distress today what I'm gonna do is actually do the distressing first then I will wax uh, so I'm using this P100 3M Pro Grace Precision uh, abrasive so um, I found that if you use like the 200, it's um, not as coarse. And then what happens is you're actually not um, distressing what you really want, if that makes sense. Um, it kind of uh, distresses here, which I don't like. I just want to do the, the corners or the edges. So that's why I'm using a much coarser. This one uh, distresses it so much quicker. Okay, so so I'm gonna use this one and you can go as hard or as soft um, as you want. So.
go all done we decided not to um, wax it this time because we have we were pressed for time to travel up to Gainesville so um, this bed is all done uh, ready to deliver to our daughter up in Gainesville but as I said uh, we did not have time enough to to wax it but it's all done i hope you enjoyed thank you